The Honourable Member for Mal Peck. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I have to, uh, the member for uh, Vancouver East, uh, on, on, on his point and the Parliamentary Secretary's answer, one has to, one has to ask, where won't this government go just to add another number and say we now have X number of trade agreements? Because that's what it's all about. I listened to the words of the Parliamentary, parliamentary Secretary, and he went to great lengths to use all the right words in, the all, in all the right places, but their facts on trade don't bear out his words, Mr. Speaker. This is the first government in, that had a trade deficit in 30 years. Uh, he talked about the CETA agreement to great length, not Honduras, and he said could create X number of jobs. Could. We haven't even seen the text yet. It hasn't even been given in the Parliament of Canada. What he did say, though, Mr. Speaker, he said there's new rules on dispute settlement. And I have a question on that. You know, we know that they've had 32, uh, 32 of the last 44 months have had a trade deficit, Mr. Speaker, but on the trade, on the dispute settlement, in our agreement with the United States, Canada's beef industry is suffering badly because of the aged cattle restriction that the Americans have on and because of the cool country origin labeling agreement. I asked the member, can he tell me, instead of negotiating with, his, uh, uh, with Honduras, which has a terrible human rights record, what are they doing to settle the trade dispute with the United States that really matters to Canadian farmers? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'd like to thank the member from Alpec for, for the question. In that question slash statement, he, he, he asked what links uh, we would go to. I think it's clear, Mr. Speaker, that this government will go and sell Canadian goods and services abroad as much as possible if it'll lead to jobs here at home. I'd remind the Honourable Member that in the 13 years of Liberal government, they signed three trade agreements. Three. In fact, the Prime Minister's recent trip to Israel were expanding on the less than ambitious trade deal they signed with that country. So, Mr. Speaker, we are clearly about promoting trade for our country. And as I said, I used the European deal as an example. In big markets and in small markets, if there's a win for Canadians and our world-class goods, services and products, we will be there for Canadians, Mr. Speaker.